Hi, I'm Brian Henson, and hello to everyone at the Forbidden Worlds Film Festival in Bristol. And welcome to Return to Oz. So this was actually the first film that I worked on as doing the whole film. Up until then, I had worked during school breaks on my dad's Muppet movies and stuff like that. But this was really the first full film that I worked on. I was 20 years old, I think, at the time. I might have even been 19 and turned 20. So I performed and voiced the character Jack Pumpkinhead, and it was the first time I'd ever voiced a character. The head puppet creator builder was Lyle Conway, who everybody knows went on to do Little Shop of Horrors. He's an extraordinary creature designer and creator. And incidentally, he also performed and voiced the Gump, which is a lot of fun. Um, so he's not just a builder, he's also a performer. And interestingly, here's a little tidbit, Steve Norrington, who went on to direct Blade with Wesley Snipes, I think this was his first film, and I think he might have even been 18 years old, and he was responsible for building and, and maintaining uh, Belina, the chicken. Um, and other performers uh, that I worked with on this, Mac Wilson, Dave Greenaway, Rob Tigner, they all, we all went on to do lots of films, including um, Labyrinth and, and um, Little Shop of Horrors together. But what I really remember and really enjoyed so much was working with the director, Walter Murch. And unfortunately, this was his only film that he directed. And it was a lot of hard work for him. I could see it was a lot of hard work, but he, he was always very steady and, and so dedicated to make this film reflect what L. Frank Baum had created when he first wrote The Wizard of Oz. And he was a fan of all The Wizard of Oz books when he was a kid. And interestingly, my dad, Jim Henson also had the collection of the Wizard of Oz books, which he had given me as a kid, so I also had them in my bedroom. So I also knew the L. Frank Baum books and knew of the character Jack Pumpkinhead and all. And Walter really wanted to make a movie that reflected that sort of darker, creepier L. Frank Baum version of the Wizard of Oz, and, and that's what he, he made. And at the time, it was considered very scary to kids. Um, but I have to tell you, it's like my daughter, it's one of my favorite, one of her favorite films. She started watching it when she was really young. So it's a great movie, and that's all I have to say. So now, enjoy Return to Oz. <laughs> 